Hello, I'm Carlos, one of FERSA Bearing's expert technicians. In this video, I'm going to show you the latest solution from FERSA for the extraction of hubs in commercial vehicles. Often, factors such as water, rust, and high temperatures make extraction difficult. Sometimes, we use inappropriate and dangerous tools, like torches or radial cutters, but we run the risk of damaging the axle. And, even worse, we run the risk of having an accident. At FERSA, we have developed this hydraulic puller for any European hub, both for the front or rear axle of a truck or semi-trailer. This tool allows us to work safely at more than 1.5 meters, 4.92 feet, from the bushing. The hydraulic hub puller consists of a hydraulic pump, two adapters, an extractor plate, a hydraulic cylinder, and accessories. Extractor plate. The extractor plate is manufactured in one piece, and its design makes it universal. We will screw the hydraulic cylinder of 23 tons to this very same plate. Adapters. Using these adapters manufactured in one piece, we make use of the same nuts and bushing bolts. Now, let's see how it works. We will place the two adapters on the bushing bolts, securing them with their own nuts. If the bushing bolts are longer, we will use the wedge washers. We usually find this type of bolt on rear axles with double twinned wheels. Then we will fix the extractor plate to the two adapters. For greater safety of the assembly and correct operation, we will use a washer and two nuts for each adapter. The adapter studs can easily be replaced if they are damaged. Next, we will screw the hydraulic cylinder to the extractor plate until it stops. I recommend not fully fixing the set until it is mounted and centered. By doing so, we guarantee effectiveness and safety during extraction. We will connect the pump hose to the cylinder with a quick coupling. It is important that we make sure that it is completely fixed when connecting it. When operating the hand pump, the cylinder is pushed out, pressing against the axle of the truck, removing the hub from the shaft up to a maximum of 23 tons. Thanks to this tool, we will get a quick and safe extraction. For the hollow shafts, we have developed some optional plates that are screwed to the cylinder pusher. For this type of bushing, we will place the plate directly and make use of its own screws, making sure that it stays fixed. We hope these tips have been helpful. For more information, visit our website or follow us on social media. Making your job easier is the most important thing for us. Don't play around. Invest in your workshop. Press the bearings. Your friend in the workshop.